right now on Caught Red Handed. He's on a boat! Get to the bottom floor! Cunning thieves wreak havoc on a mega music store. Hey! Stop! And the only thing more outrageous than their crimes... This guy is cutting open these cases. ...are their excuses. This is a return for my mom. You don't even know my mom. I didn't do anything. I'm just here shopping. The store is losing thousands of dollars of rare collectibles. That's where the album went missing. Until agents uncover an ingenious scam. Did you give it to him? Yes or no? Uncaught. Red-handed. Salser's Record Store in Ventura, California is one of the largest and most legendary music stores in the world. But this pop culture mecca has been hit by thieves, preying upon the most expensive items in the store, rare vinyl albums worth thousands of dollars. This is what a rock and roll store should this. look like. Loss prevention agents Richie Mastoni and Tyson Smith are sent in to investigate. This is rock and roll heaven right here, baby. I'm looking for Jim or Brandon. Oh, that's me, Jim. Hey, Jim. Richie Mastoni. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, Brandon. Hey. How you doing? Hey, good How's you, everything? How's this is doing? one cool store, man. Thank you. This is awesome. Salzer's is a father and son operation, and these guys have been in the music business since the dawn of rock and roll. Well, that right there catches my eye, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Johnny used to come in here years ago. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Johnny Cash came in here? Yeah, really? upstairs for clothing. Yeah. Woo! That's pretty neat. Well, there's. Mick Jagger and me back in 66. That's you? Yeah. Standing next to Mick. Yeah. Dude, he looks young here too, don't he? There's some seriously valuable collector's items on display. And that's Grace Slick. Wow. James Brown. Dude, Damn, you know man. all the big ones. The Doors, <laughs> Grateful Dead, Jimi Hendrix. I mean, he promoted oh, concerts yeah. for all of them. So I'm guessing, Jim, there's a lot of people out there who would love to get inside these cases. Yeah. This is priceless. Yeah. The main problem we're having is with the higher price used vintage vinyl, which is right over here. The rare stuff's in these bins here. Uh, we have some shrinkage that uh, we, we can't quite figure out. That's hard to steal a record, man. You can't just stick one of these records in your back pocket. The other day we were inventorying and there was a really rare Led Zeppelin album that we had that's just disappeared, that uh, wasn't on the sold list and didn't show up in here. So obviously it's been lifted. That hurts. Richie and I are huge Zeppelin fans. It's almost like we take this personally, man. They're somehow getting out the door without setting out the alarm. Hmm. They've got security tags on all the high-end collectibles. Plus, they've got pretty good security cameras. But it's not enough. Whoever's doing this is pretty clever, and we gotta catch them. Salzer's is 15,000 square feet split over two levels. Accessories and apparel upstairs, music on the ground floor. Look at this place, it's huge. To help cover this massive store, we're bringing in agent Tammy Ferullo. I'm Tam over here by the vinyl. She's gonna walk the main floor while Ty covers the upstairs. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I'm good. My focus will be the rare album section. Touch those albums and I'll be all over it. Bison. Yes, sir. You just had two guys uh, walk upstairs? Yeah. Keep an eye on those guys. Oh, they're just shopping. Dude, it's really busy up here, man. Tammy, will you go help Ty keep an eye on the second floor? On my way up. Hey, you gotta, um, might be nothing, but you gotta... Got a kid stuffing CDs into his bag. Where are we at? Tyson, Tammy, get down there. He's gonna pull. Say so, yeah. He's got a black hoodie on and a black backpack. I got him. Get him. You better get him. I lost him. This is not good. Not only did we lose merchandise, I busted my knee. Ha! Ah, look what I got. God damn, man, he turned that dude and he was gone. Look. That's a cell phone? That's gotta be his phone. Oh, hell yeah. Is man, this could be interesting. Look under the contacts. Hey, you wanna call his mom? Call his mom? Yeah. Call mom. Hello, uh, yes, this is uh, loss prevention officer with Salzers. Is this your son's phone number? Uh, yeah. Well, let, 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 me, hey, let me tell you what happened, okay? We see your, your son 
grabbing a bunch of DVDs. He sees us coming down and he bolts. No way my son would be skipping. Okay, is this your son's phone number? Yeah, I'll sit and do it on my son's phone. Look, you have three hours to get him and bring him back here with our merchandise, or the next call you're gonna get from this phone number will be the cops. Okay, all right. Okay. You all right, Gimpy? We're here to figure out who's stealing vintage vinyl. First, we need an accurate inventory of those albums. What's that one? What we got? Deep Purple. All right, scan that one. Deep Purple. Then, we need to check the inventory against the sales receipts to make sure nothing has gone missing. Did you find the last one that we were looking for? Meanwhile, Ty is covering the monitors. What? What's this dude doing? Hey, yo, we, we got some dude that's searching through some trash out there. All right, keep an eye on him. This guy don't look homeless, y'all. We have all the receipts for all these? Yeah, so far there's just one that we're, we're trying to match up that we can't find. Looks like we found a problem. Hey, where's that pink flip receipt? Hang on a second. It's gone. Right under our noses, an album has gone missing. Pink Floyd The Wall, first edition, 400 bucks. This is embarrassing. We have to find it. Well, we got two couples up here. Hey, guys. That dude just pulled something out of the trash and put it in his pocket and just walked in the store. We'll keep an eye on him. What's he wearing? White shirt. And gray, looks like sweatpants. He's right in the middle aisle. Hold on, hold on. I think he just pulled a receipt out of his pocket. That's what he picked up right out of the trash. He's holding a couple DVDs and it looks like he's trying to match it to that receipt. So he's got a receipt in his hand? Yes. Now he's walking back towards the front of the store either going to try to walk out with those DVDs or he's going to try to get a refund. No, I'm standing right here. He ain't going to get a refund. I'm standing right here in front. This dude picked a bad day to steal. Richie, this is our player right here. He doesn't know it, but he's walking right towards two loss prevention agents. He might be bolting. He's looking around. He's ready to rock. He's building up his nerve. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on, hold on. He's holding a couple of DVDs and it looks like he's trying to match it to that receipt. So he's got a receipt in his hand? Yes. That's what he picked up right out of the trash. He's either going to try to walk out with those DVDs or he's going to try to get a refund. No, I'm standing right here. He ain't going to get a refund. He might be bolting. He's okay. ready to rock. He's right. building up his nerve. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's at the register. Okay. I got him. I can help you here. Oh, thank you. Just have a return. Return? Yes. Oh. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Hey, check that receipt. Let's see that receipt for a second. Mind if I look at that? Yeah, yeah. Sir, when did you uh, buy these DVDs? Um, the date is on the receipt. Yeah, uh, but when, I'm asking when, you, when, did you, when did you buy them? Do you remember what day it was? Like yesterday. The receipt's from today. I mean, I can't really remember it, you know, like that, but I thought it was yesterday. Excuse me, sir. I'm uh, Tyson. I'm here with loss prevention. I was watching the security cameras, and I seen you dig through that trash, and I seen you grab a receipt, pick it out of your pocket. I put something in the trash. No, I seen you grab something out of the trash. Like, you can at least give me the receipt. I'm not giving it. you a receipt that you just try to use refund fraud with. What the f is refund fraud? What you just that try to commit. That sounds stupid. I bring in a receipt. People bring in receipts all the Time. Yeah, hey, but hey, they hey, don't hey, bring hey, 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 go. hey, 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 Ah, you guys get so worked up. It's great we were able to stop a thief, but he's a small fry. We need to focus on the main problem, the expensive vinyl that's been disappearing. 
Earlier today, someone walked out of here with a $400 Pink Floyd album. We should have that on surveillance. I've been rolling through the footage to try to catch the moment that album disappeared. I have it being sold right here. Check it out. Right there. Okay, who is this guy? That's definitely the album right there. Wait. Right there, yeah. She's detagging it. She's scanning it. She's, she's scanning, scanning it up. Well, I mean, he pays for it, though. Yeah. Here, yeah. in just a second, he'll pull out a credit card and pay for okay. it. Okay. Hold on, something's not right here. She's checking to see if the other employee's looking at her. I'm thinking she's not scanning these. She's scanning them. You I'm see it right I'm there? I'm telling you, there's no damn record of that purchase. She's looking over here. There's employees here. This one and this one are in on it. This looks like a scam called sweethearting. Sweethearting is when an employee gives a customer something for free, but pretends that she sold the item to the customer. What do you want us to do? We need a camera right above the registers. I want her schedule, and we'll wait to see if this guy comes back. We need to clearly see exactly how she's doing it. Otherwise, we got no proof. Skin towards closing. Yeah, slowing down. Oh, dude, look who's back. I knew it. The kid who stole a bunch of DVDs earlier and dropped his phone. Hello. How you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm not too happy with him. Yeah, I, I know him. He's the one who stole those DVDs and he took off and he ended up hurting my boss over here. Sorry? That's real sincere, sorry. ain't it, buddy? That's real sincere. I am sorry. Is that better? No, it's not better. I don't know what you want well, me to do. First of all, you can give me my merchandise back. You want this? Yeah. Take it. I do. Hey, hey, hey. Right. I still take you to jail. I still have that power and that right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Let's go. Woo, that lady has got a handful. Coming up. Holy f this guy is cutting open these CD cases. Agents are shocked by a thief's secret device. That's the bad apple. Later, agents set a trap to catch the vinyl bandit. This is unbelievable. Take him when he steps through that door. Agents are in Ventura, California, investigating the theft of high-priced vintage albums from Salzer's Records. That's hard to steal a record, man. This girl hooks this guy up. They suspect a crooked cashier is conspiring with a customer and decide to set a trap to catch them red-handed. Top security company USS has secretly installed a camera right over the registers. When our suspect cashier shows up for her shift today, we'll see everything she's doing. There's a guy in the middle of the store with a black backpack. I picked him up too. Meanwhile, Ty and Tammy are on the floor watching for the accomplice. There's also a girl back here with a brown purse over on the vinyl records, the ones that are high end. Yeah, just keep your eyes on those. I don't think that that girl could stick one of those vinyl records in that purse. So. Keep an eye on the kid with the backpack. He seems very indecisive about what he wants to buy today. Is he touching any merchandise? Yes, tons. Uh, hold on, y'all. There's another guy came in with a backpack, too. Uh, he's got sunglasses on. Didn't take the glasses off. He's got a backpack. A backpack is great for hiding items. And anyone who wears sunglasses could be hiding their eyes from our cameras. This guy's a suspect. Richie, I got a clear view of the first guy. He just put a CD in his backpack, and he's looking at the CD cover right now. He put it back in. It's back in the case. I'm well, too close to him right now. Don't let him see you. He's got another CD, yeah. There he goes. Holy shit, this guy is taking a razor blade and he's cutting open these CD cases. He's got a razor blade on his finger underneath a Band-Aid. We got concealment. I got it. I got it on the video now. We're good. We got it. Now. Wait a minute. Hey, he's putting the CDs back into the cases. What is he doing? He could just be switching them. Is there any kind of contraption in that backpack? I can't get close enough to tell. Hold on, I just watched it slide in the backpack. He's got a burner in there. He 
he's burning these CDs. Hey, he's downloading these CDs. Once it downloads, it pops back out and they put it back in the case. You know, this is one of the smartest damn things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's a great scam. Technically, he isn't shoplifting, and I bet he knows it. Look at all the cases he's damaged. But he is destroying merchandise. And that razor blade, which is a burglary tool, is an automatic felony. Oh, he's gonna rock. I think he's ready to rock, boys and girls. I got you. You got him? If he's crazy enough to have a razor blade on his finger, he might use that razor blade against one of you guys. So be very cautious. Hey, excuse me, sir. Um, here with loss prevention. What is that? Can you put your hands like this, please? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, real quick. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah. Small. Small. Well, why do you have a razor blade on your finger like that? Uh, to cut things. Oh, he's a wise guy. Yeah, also, I lock in my car is jammed, so I use that to get in my car. Yeah, you can take that off. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Now, now, what? Now, what is this? Okay. Right, first of all, I'm a loss prevention officer here. Still get his ass or stop having a conversation. Now, put your hands behind your back. Come on. Oh, all right. What you been doing in here? My guy. Oh, we got plenty. God. You ain't so cocky now, are you? You're under arrest, you're going to jail. You got away with what you did with the CDs. You got away with that clean. The razor blade, that's a felony. How do you like us now? I don't. You're going to jail. Have a good day. Bye. The employee that we suspect in this missing vinyl is back behind the registers. If her accomplice walks through that door, it's going to be game on. You remember the guy we're looking for, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a, two guys, Richie. One has a uh, tank top on, a bald head. Yeah. What are they looking at? Hey, guess what? Yeah. Our boy just walked right through the doors. You're, you're kidding me. I got eyes on it. Hey, here we go, boys and girls. Here we go. All right, we're going to be in play then. Do not get near those vintage records. We don't know exactly how they're doing it, but now we're going to go find out. She's definitely in her spot. We need him to make the hit. He's got four low-end albums. Here we go. There's a high-budget one right there. There's a high-price one right there he's touching. He's looking around. He's looked right at my camera. That's a $300 record with those cheaper records in his hand right now. Can she see him? Yeah, and she's watching. She's watching for him. There's another one. Oh, he's got the selection. He's got at least four or $500 with the records. He's making his way to the front. Be ready. All right, here we go. Hey. Hi, here goes record number one. Detagged. All right. Scanner. Hey, didn't even hit the barcode. Sure enough, her thumb is right over the barcode, so the album won't scan. She's not ringing up that album. Be aware she is blocking the barcode. She's turning her back as she's scanning to the manager. Watch her thumb. Her thumb is right over the barcode. Right there. The laser it went right over her thumb. Oh, man. This is called greed right here. Whoa! There's no way it touched the code. All right, here comes the last one. That one he's paying for. Tyson. Take him when he steps through that door. I got you, Cam. Tammy, I'll be coming down, and me and you will take the girl. Time for. Thank you. We're in play. Tyson, grab that guy. I got his ass. Do not let him get away. Take him when he steps through that door. I got you, Cam. Tammy, me and you will take the girl. Time for. Yeah. Holy shit, they did it. We're in play. Tyson, grab that guy. Do not let him get away. I got his ass. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's hey, up? I'm a loss prevention officer here at the store. You care to come here with me real quick? Uh, Just put your hands behind your back. Is no, that no, no. really necessary? Yeah, that, that, that's really necessary right now. This register right here, can you pull up the last transaction for me, a receipt, please? Why don't you step away from the register? This last transaction? Yeah. Come on, step up here for me. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley? Yeah. What's, I mean, what is the problem? How many albums did you buy? I don't know. You don't know how many you bought? I wasn't counting, honestly. I'm a collector. It's like four or five. You're a collector? Well, I, I appreciate you telling me what this is about. Right over here. Have a seat. How many records she, you got in there? I mean, she rang, yeah. You got us. They're all, they all went, I mean, they all went through, didn't they? You got six records there. Yeah. But you only bought one. I don't, I, right, so. You bought one. I don't know what that's got to do with me, though. So, buy one, get five free? It, looks it was a mistake. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't put them down my trousers, did I? I didn't run out of the Shit. shop. Call the police. Both of you on to jail. I'm done with this. Jail. That's it! Honestly, there's no need to do that.
It was her idea that maybe, you know, we could save a bit of money on some records. No, that's bull****, James. That's not bull****. You're the one who came to me and said, I will give you half the profit. Right. Right. Where's all the records at? He, he the, puts them on eBay. So you're re- you're, records you're, on eBay. I do not sell them. Now, if you're selling stolen records. I'm not selling anything at all. I'm listening to them. This guy is so full of Go on eBay, search the wall, James the record collector, I gave them to him yesterday. Did you walk out with Pink Floyd the wall yesterday, out those doors? Yes, I did. Actually, yes. did you give it to him yesterday? Pink Floyd the wall, I, yes I, or no? I did not do it intentionally. Yes or no? You don't have to yell at me. Yes or no? Yes. I'm gonna charge you with a felony, I'm gonna charge you with a felony. Yeah. Let's go, stand up. These two sweethearts are going straight to jail. And with any luck at all, the police can recover some of the albums they've already stolen. Let me tell you, first of all, we had a blast in your store. It's great to have you. We had a great week here at Soldiers. We caught the big one. We caught the big fish. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Not only did we save some rock and roll history, we helped save a family business. And that's why I love this job. This has to be one of the coolest places I've actually place. been here and done this job. Well, we've appreciated having you here. This and is the greatest place ever, man. <laughs>